a little bit about why I chose to be an engineer. Uh, when, I, when I went into school as a, an incoming freshman, I was, I was a lot like uh, many different freshmen, uh, and I didn't know what I wanted to do exactly. I was good at math. I liked uh, learning about the world. I liked learning about things in the world. Uh, so I decided to go into engineering. And uh, it, it was kind of difficult because I, I actually had no, I, I didn't really know any engineers. Uh, my, no one in my family was an engineer. I actually uh, had no friends that were engineers. Uh, but I thought it was interesting and I liked the challenge and I liked problem solving. So I uh, got through my classes. It was a, a lot of all-nighters, as I'm sure a lot of engineers can relate. Um, I stayed up late, often studying, I worked hard, uh, but I really didn't have that real life application that um, a, a lot of uh, true engineers have. And uh, this kind of showed in my first project that I took on, I, I took on a research assistant role, uh, and it actually was, uh, my, my job was to create a medical device, uh, the automation system for a medical device uh, for research. And, um, so <clears throat> I started uh, with a ton of different concepts that they had, as they had taught me in uh, engineering school. I was a senior at this point, so I'd been through everything. And um, I went through all my different concepts. I, I did a lot of analysis on each of these concepts. And, and uh, I, I really got stuck. Where I really got stuck was, was actually creating something and learning from that. Um, so what ended up happening is the deadline kept getting closer and closer and I still hadn't pursued any, any of my multiple solutions and uh, I ended up just throwing together something, working with the, the machinist at, at uh, the mechanical engineering department and throwing together something at the last minute. And if anyone's ever done that, it's not a good way to go about engineering. Um, it was a total disaster. Uh, so from that moment on I didn't really know uh, whether I had gone down the right path, and uh, I, I decided to roll with it, and I, and I started looking for jobs, uh, and I actually got a few offers. Um, two of them were design engineering offers, uh, and I kind of had a bad taste in my mouth from that. So I decided to go into application engineering uh, at a company called Stratasys, and as you guys all know, they they manufacture, or may know, they, they manufacture 3D printers. Fast forward today, I realize a few things that I, I really think that all engineers should know and uh, use, and, and 3D printing and additive manufacturing really plays a big role in this. Uh, the first thing is that all engineers need to try. If you look back at my example or my story, uh, the reason why I failed was because I, I failed to try. I failed to actually, I, I was kind of scared, and I was scared to fail. So uh, I, as a result, I didn't try. And I think that's something that engineers need to get a good sense of uh, and, and be OK. It's, it's OK to fail. Just fail quickly, right, and, and learn from it. I think that's a good mentality to go about designing things. Uh, second, uh, it's important as an engineer to listen. I think that a lot of engineers get stuck in their ideas and think it's going to be the greatest thing in the world and then release it. And, and, uh, and it's not, because they failed to listen to what their customers wanted and listen to uh, what their customers were asking for, really listen to their needs and demands. And last, I think it's really important for engineers to learn. Reading new, uh, new things on uh, any, any type of uh, engineering discipline and always be uh, striving to learn more about it. Uh, but also, I mean it from a, a self-reflection uh, standpoint as well. I think it's very important for engineers to take a step back from what they've been working on. Think of it from a consumer's perspective and think of it from their customer's perspective because that's truly what you're, you're engineering and designing for. Um, all three of these things, I think, mesh very well with 3D printing and additive manufacturing because it allows you to do them very quickly, very cheaply. If I had known about it or had been more in tune with the world, I would have been able to print out my concepts right away, show them directly to my uh, research professor, and actually get feedback from him to listen to what he had to say with it. And as a result, also learn about its functionality, how it actually worked. And I think it's a good lesson. I, being uh, two and a half years out of school, I think, I think all three of these things are the, the main things that I've learned in the, in the work world. Um, 
And I think that uh, engineers should, early engineers should really strive to do these three things. Thank you very much for your time.